Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl. And today, hopefully, I will be recording a, an unboxing and review of what's inside this package here. Look what it says, Shop Beer Gear by Anheuser-Busch. Well, you know what? It is pumpkin season and what's in here is not for me. It's actually for my dog. Um, I am a dog mom. I should put my dog mom hat on, but I'm a dog mom. And before I get into this unboxing, I am going to wake up my dog. Hopefully he'll, will be awake so we can do this taste testing and have a successful unboxing and taste test by my dog. I just want to give a shout out to all the pet parents out there, because when I see your videos and content on social media, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I don't do TikTok, but I am just amazed at how clean your house is. Now, I have a dog and two cats. Now, granted, it's just me. And no matter how much I clean, there's always dust bunnies and fur, and I like to call it fur glitter. So kudos to all you other pet influencers out there. I am impressed with your cleaning skills. All right, so let's get into this. What's in here, again, is for my dog. So let's do an unboxing. All right, everyone, this is a really weird position. I know that. Um, as you can see, my dog, he is sleeping. But I want to do this, this unboxing here with him. And I don't know. You know, being a one-man show, one-woman show, this is the best I can do, right, right, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. All right, so here we go. Radcliffe, this is for you. Look it. Do you know what's in here? Tis the season. All right. Of course I have to open this for him. I mean, I guess he could claw his way out. And sorry about that, my uh, ring light. Cord's getting in the way. I hope your fall is going well. I know it's not officially fall yet, but we can pretend, right? Ah. So, here we go. Well, this is, I'm sure you're going to be very excited. So, this is the box. This is my invoice. I'm not going to open that up, and I'm pretty sure it's my invoice because I can see it says shop beer gear. Yes, see that red? Shop beer gear. And I ordered, oh, I'll just I'll just let the suspense go. Um, let's see. Here is an FAQ about the I ordered dog brew, but not any other dog brew by Bush, by Bush Beer. So here are the FAQs. Should I read this to you first? Uh, let me show you what it is first, then I'll read this. Nicely packed. Brad, this is getting exciting. You're excited? Oh, he's excited. I know, it's not good for you. Here we go. We got dog brew. You're looking excited, Brad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So this is pumpkin spice dog brew by Bush. Look at that. You know what? I'm actually excited to try this. I don't know if I can try it. What do you think, Red? Here. What do you think? All right. So before we start breaking this open, let me read the FAQ. Let me read these FAQs to you, Rad. You want to hear it? Be like your bedtime story? All right, YouTube world. FAQ, is this actually a beer for dogs? Yes. Oh, let me get down here a little more. Can humans drink it? Sure, but it is made for a dog's palate. You may find it bland, and yes, we've tried it. You know what? When I was little, I remember trying milk bone dog biscuits. I remember like taking a bite out of them. I mean, didn't every kid try that? Okay, is it alcoholic? Does it contain carbonation? No, it is not alcoholic and it does not contain hops or 
carbonation. No synthetic, preser no synthetic preservatives are used. How much should you give your dog? It depends on the weight of your dog, but it is not harmful to consume the entire can in one sitting. Hmm. For smaller dogs, the brew will last for five days after opened in the fridge so that the snack can last longer. This is like your liquid snack, Rad. How should you serve bush dog beer? It can be served room temperature or cold. Not every dog likes cold items, but they sure are refreshing as ice cubes in those summer months. What do I serve the dog beer in? You can serve it in a dog bowl as a treat or over their food. It is not a meal replacement. And there's a QR code there at the shop. I don't know if I hold this up, will you be able to scan the QR code? I guess you can give it a try. All right, so let's break this apart and see what they look like. Okay, so we're back and going to crack open a can. If I can get it off, which I'm sure I can. Ooh, what do you think, Rad? So I'm going to pour some into this bowl. This is not Radcliffe's typical bowl. Um, my smaller glass bowls are being occupied right now with leftovers and Radcliffe's water bowl, bowl is not clear, but I thought we should have a clear bowl for this occasion. So let me figure out how I'm going to do this. Right, Rad? Yes. All right. So you want ready to have a little snacky snack, Rad? You ready? You ready? He's like, Mom, I'm tired. All right, so crack this open. Hmm, let me see. Oh, it smells very pumpkin-y of spices. But as I said, not too overpowering. I am going to take a little sip. All right, I'm glad I didn't have my ca the camera on. It does have like a little bit of fizz, but actually tastes kind of like flat cider. I mean, I guess cider isn't really bubbly, but um, see what the ingredients are. Pure uh, puree pumpkin, whole cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, and water. Yeah, I mean, this is like a health drink. You probably pay like five or six bucks for this in the grocery store. All right. So anyway, I digress. So here we go. I'm going to pour it in here. And it is clear. It's clear. I'm going to save the rest for Rad. And come on. Want to try some? This is for you, Rad. This is for you. What do you think? No. Nope. <laughs> what do you think, Rad? Here, you want some more? I guess he's not sure what to think. Perhaps he's just done. Here, want some more? Come on. Here, come on, Rad. Here. Is that good? Hmm. I don't know if you're a fan. Are you a fan? Want some more? Here. Good boy. What do you think, huh? You smell like pumpkin cinnamon breath now. Okay, so I guess he liked it a little bit, but not enough to slurp it up, but that's okay. You know, it's his bedtime. He already had his dinner. Maybe it'll be different when it's chilled, but you know, this is a fun beverage. I'm actually going to share this with my um, neighbor. She has two dogs. Maybe they will enjoy it as well. But what did I pay for this? I paid, yeah, it doesn't say on here. I think it was like $15 or so, which yeah, that's a lot of money, but 
aren't our dogs worth it? All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. And just remember, life is too short. So always say yes to adventure. Bye.